All right, Alan, tell us about Common Ground. Common Ground, yeah. Hey, so this is a an environmental documentary, and uh, it's very different than any other environmental documentary. And and its basic premise is this: um, there's climate change going on caused by an abundance of carbon floating in the air. Uh, creating the greenhouse effect, destroying the planet, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this, this uh, most environmental documentaries are essentially gloom and doom, basically saying uh, the world is coming to an end. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Go, go, uh, let's, let's tear down the economy. Um, this film, on the other hand, uh, actually proposes a solution. And it makes the bold step that they could actually bring the entire planet to carbon neutral uh, through this solution. The documentary is narrated by uh, Jason Momoa, Laura Dern, Dan Donald Glover, uh, Woody Harrelson, and Rosanna, uh, uh, Rosario Dawson. There we go. Um, so here, let, let's. This is this is the this is the solution that this this uh, movie proposes. <clears throat> the way you get rid of all the carbon that's in the air is you plant trees and build crops. Because weirdly, they've discovered this is brand new information. No one's ever heard of this. <laughs> okay. They found that that plants and trees uh, extract the carbon dioxide from the air, uh, releases the oxygen, and then takes the carbon and puts it into the ground. And this carbon actually enriches the soil of the ground, so that when you do build crops, you don't need to use chemical fer fertilizers or chemical pesticides. And so this this entire movie is based on this idea that that the earth somehow has has a way of healing itself and that you can solve the environmental problems bring the world to carbon neutral by increasing trees and plants and and farms and um i know groundbreaking this is a this is a crazy concept I know. this couldn't, this couldn't I, I can't this is insane yeah. i cannot believe it and and so what what they the the big thing is that uh, they they look the the problem with what's going on today is it's basically corporate agriculture. It's the idea that uh, that all these farms across America they're being subsidized by the government. They're they're being given uh, GMO seeds and Roundup pesticides and told to you know grow corn and soy, uh, and we'll give you money for it. And and what's happening is the the techniques they're using uh, the tilling techniques is actually stripping the the, the earth of its soil and turning it into dirt, into a dust land. Uh, a dust land. And, and if you just allow uh, plants to grow on your land, um, you allow these pl plants to grow, die, refertilize the ground, uh, it will actually make more abundant crops, um, healthier food, and not only cure the climate change, but it will feed the world and it will make a lot of money for, for these farmers. Again, uh, groundbreaking research going on here. This, uh, this and, is a radical documentary. I cannot believe. I and, that and people, I, I tell you that I, I believe the climate change community is gonna it's gonna tear this documentary down because of its unfounded research. And well, uh, I mean, we've, we've seen the thing is this. Here, here, here's where we're at. There is a lot of alarmism with a lot of because I've seen these documentaries for years. Okay, they used to do documentaries on weed. Now weed is legal. Mm -hmm. The reason these documentaries are being made, they all come with an agenda. And it used to be that a documentary film, a documentary filmmaker would approach a topic, not know anything, and then go where the story leads. Yeah, research it. Now, almost every doc we see now is politically on one side of the aisle or the other. I think both are guilty. And they're funded by organizations saying, here's the thing we want the doc to say, now go make the movie. Now look at a film like An Inconvenient Truth. Okay, that movie came out a long time ago, right? And a lot of the predictions uh, haven't come true. In fact, um, what's her name? The young woman who is the how dare you? Oh, Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg is now deleting Instagram posts where she said that in 2023 things would go. She said this years ago. Okay. I just, and the thing is this, okay. My politics have always been kind of middle of the road, but I really feel I'm trying, you're trying to manipulate me with this nonsense. I just want the truth. 
I am like most people. I believe most people, when push comes to shove, just want common sense and the truth and not some sort of agenda that's being pushed by some corporation to say we should be doing this. Because as we know, corporations kill creativity mm -hmm. and corporations the sort of factory factory filmmaking doesn't result in better movies factory farming doesn't result in better food it's almost that the most it's almost like the most simple answer is the answer like an independent film that's led by a, a, a creative visionary or a group of of creative people you know and that, it's not as if someone like say a Chris Nolan can't work in Hollywood to kind of make the movie he wants to make. Uh, so you can work within the system to get things done. I'm just tired of being lied to. Yeah. That would be interesting is for someone to re review an inconvenient truth to show where we are. Um, so I, I just, I just want the truth. I don't want to be lied to. I just want like, tell us what's let's, let's work toward a solution mm -hmm. instead of doom and gloom that is depressing, that is having a psychological effect, rates of depression like we've never seen in a generation of young people that feel like they have no future. This is wrong. This is, I believe it's evil. That, yeah. that, there, that we can, that we are, where we've reached this place in civilization, I'm, very, I'm, I'm an optimist and I'm filled with optimism. We can solve every problem in front of us, but we're not going to solve it if we're fighting about BS. Uh, so that should have been a gory, a uh, 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 gore rant. But I, I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, I, like the more common sense solution is usually the key. Like when it comes to a medical issue, when it comes to um, just a lot of things, yeah. right? Like, it, there are yeah. I mean, this this hits, both, this, this hits both sides. It, it, I mean, it oh, does a lot it? Blame is placed on the government, who is being funded. You know, campaigns are being funded by big, big agriculture. Oh, we'll call it that. Um, right. And you know, it's they they you know they corporations want to control the food supply, and uh, and in the process, people aren't people are getting food that's killing them. And uh, and we're we're destroying the land. And this this movie is all about restoring the land that has been destroyed. I'll refer you to two other films: um, Biggest Little Farm, uh, which I believe is still on Hulu. Uh, so the idea there is, you, when you start a farm, you grow everything and you raise every single animal, and you will create a ecosystem that is self sustaining and and food that is healthy without the use of pesticides. Uh, or guns to kill pests, things like that. The other one is Fat Fiction, which is narrated by Nick Offerman. Yes, but, yes. But it looks at it not only looks at why meat is so important, but how cows and cattle uh, actually heal the land as well by stomping on hard ground and pooping. And uh, you know, it, it, there the solutions are there. And again, let's not belittle the point, but this documentary is a saying that we can solve the climate change carbon problem, bring the planet to carbon neutral, and it's by simply uh, proper farming techniques and growing trees. So you're saying when I was two years old, I was effectively a cow. I was stomping and pooping. Yeah, stomping and pooping. <laughs> yeah, but did you smother your poop into your carpet? I, I did not. So oh, see, I guess I'm not a cow. Doing part of the... You're only doing part of the solution. You got to go full in. Got to go full cow. All right. Hey, we have some comments. We have a lot of comments here from yeah. people. So let's let's uh, go into it. And yeah, by, maybe by the way, it, this document gets into the dangers of fake meat. I I've tried the fake meat. I, I'll be I'll be honest. I tried the fake meat. I tried like the you know I had a whopper with fake meat. It tastes like meat, but. Every person, I have, I have a friend who's very much into health and healthy eating. She said the fake meat is bad for you. That yeah, the stuff that they make it out of is terrible. It's food, food grown in a lab. Yeah, it's that, not. That, that should scare you right there. Someone should do a documentary looking up all the old political propaganda of alarmism. Mm -hmm. Someone should make a documentary about that and just show and show pieces of inconvenient truth and how it's all BS. I'll yeah. bet I could get some company to. Yeah, they, yep. I mean, like that. wildfire fires. You know, we, they talk about the devastating wildfires in Northern California. 
we just down the road from my house, there was a devastating wildfire that that almost destroyed one of our toll roads here. Um, and it, you know, it, it burned a lot of land. And what this documentary basically says is sometimes wildfires are a great way to reset the land. And lo and behold, a year later after the wildfire, uh, our mountainside was covered with golden poppies. We had uh, wow. we had butterflies migrating through our freeway. Cars were, <laughs> killing these, cars were killing these butterflies. But we, I mean, I've never seen that pass so beautiful and so gorgeous in my life. Wow. And, uh, you know, maybe fires have a uh, purpose in, in the big picture. Oh, I mean, there's, there's a whole section about how the agriculture industry start going after people, uh, especially those who are saying that Roundup pesticides was causing cancer. And they would they would get people, they would get these experts fired from the universities they were working at. Wow. They would dox them. I mean, look, th these are tactics that were have been going on for decades. Uh, and now the average American, <laughs> you and I, are going through the same crap. Well, I think a lot of people from the last two years, couple years of what's happened, the last three years, uh, a lot of people have... Uh, awakened they have awakened with an awareness of things oh, i didn't really notice this stuff going on kind of weird 